All right, so let's talk about the differences between the Winner's Cube and the uh, Sega Keymaster, and why, right away you can see one of the differences. Well, actually, a couple. Quite actually, no, there's three differences. You can see already right off the bat. Um, you only have a up and over and up directional button, and basically kind of like an up and across machine, only backwards. Um, you only go to the right once. Once you lap off that button, your plunger stops. And this allows it to go up. Once you lap off it, it stops going up and it tries to push whatever it is you're after into the hole. Now, it is different in a way because the, the uh, buttons make it harder to actually line it up how you want. So you basically, basically kind of have to time it. Also, the payout rate is basically the same system as the Keymaster. And the only thing is with this one, you can't tell if it's not due to pay out because as you can see right away, the holes are not near as big as the Keymaster. So the Keymaster, you can notice it right away if it skips. And you can notice it on this one too, just on certain things. Like the cheaper stuff, you can't really notice it. You can't really tell if it's you know not due to pay out or anything. And the bottom row is very difficult to win out of. It's almost impossible. Um, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes are empty. So someone's actually one out of the bottom. And another thing that's different, you have a plunger instead of a key. So, the whole, the whole setup is completely different from the Keymaster. You have more rows on this one, and you only have three rows in the Keymaster. So, just like the Keymaster, if that key goes through that hole, you win. Only in this case, it's a plunger. As I said, payout rate is basically the same system as the Keymaster. So, keep that in mind when you see one of those. I wish you luck at these things, guys. Thanks for watching.